You guys sure do have a lot of toys here, don't you? You guys are just having fun. Hi, Jeffrey. These two are sleepy. Love you guys. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today we are going to be working with some new products. So if you saw on my Instagram story, if you follow me on Instagram, I got a package from Kaleidos that they sent me. I'm on their PR list now, and that's amazing because they are literally one of my favorite brands. I love every single product I've ever tried from them, so we're going to try some new stuff from them today. And I just wanted to show you really quick. So. Whenever you order from Kaleidos, whether you're on the PR list or whether you order stuff yourself, because most of their stuff I've ordered myself. So you always get whatever you order in this like big, thick bubble wrap component. So I just wanted to show you that because Kaleidos is A++ when it comes to shipping stuff because they want to make sure that nothing gets broken. So I just think that that's amazing. And then they put whatever they've sent you in a beautiful box like this, which again is not just for people that are getting it in PR, it's for everyone. And I took what was in here out of it because I'm going to use this box for something else, but it has like a magnetic closure. So they really have like literally A++ for packaging, not just for shipping, but also for presentation. Like it's amazing. And then what was inside was this little thing, which had the three highlighters from them that I don't own yet which is Comet Catcher, Star Surfer. These two are pinky toned, and I'm gonna use one of them today. And then we also have um, Ray Rider, which is the peachy toned one. So depending on what my eye look turns out like will depend on which one of those I use. And then they also sent me their eye brushes, which I'm super excited about. I had gotten their highlighter brush, which I love. And <clears throat> now I have their eye brushes. So let me get these out of the packaging really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the five eye brushes that they sent. They're so pretty and they say Kaleidos on the handle. They feel really nice, like they're not too heavy, but they don't feel cheap either. So I'm excited to use these. And then I got my other uh, package that I got was an order that I placed with Glam Light. And I got um, a palette, but I also got two lippies. So I got their margarita lips. I got grape and coconut. So I will show you really quick. This is the grape one. So pretty. It's a lip gloss, I believe. Is it? And did they change? Nope. It still doesn't say the color on the packaging itself, which I don't like personally, but... Um, I wish that, you know, the coconut one said coconut and the, but this is the coconut one. So pretty. And it has like a multi-chrome, like pink and purple effect. So we're going to use probably one of those today. And then last, but certainly not least what we're going to play with today. And I got to get this big box out of the way is the glam light cake palette. So if you haven't seen this, which I'm sure you have, it comes in an oven, which is so cute. Um, Glamlight has the best packaging and you open the oven like this and there is the cake. So I just think, oh, they're just amazing. Like the pizza palette came in a pizza box. The taco palette came in a taco box. Like they have just A++ packaging. So this is the back of the palette. It's nutritional facts. And then this is the front of the palette. And then the inside of the palette, it has a mirror, which it opens like this way. And then these are the shades. So, so, so pretty. I love this color story. So I think I want to do, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, we're going to use the Essence Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm not going to do swatches. I normally don't do swatches. I might do swatches and post them on my Instagram, but there's a lot of people that I've seen that have done swatches, so 
Um, but for me, I just think that sometimes I do swatches and I'm like, oh, that shade didn't swatch well, but it performs amazing on the eyes and vice versa. So you guys know, I normally don't do those. So I'm just going to pat out my eyeshadow primer and then we're going to get started. I can't decide if I want to do a two-tone eye or if I want to do all the shades on one eye. I kind of want to do a two-tone eye, but I'm also going to do a, like, three looks, one palette with this palette. So maybe I will, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know, you guys. Okay, I'm going to, oh, hmm. What should I do? See, this is why I need to go live so you guys can tell me what to do. Okay, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do two-tone eye. That's what I want to do. That's what I was thinking about first. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go into is Raspberry, which is like this pinky tone one. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, uh, let me see, I'm looking at myself. I think I'm going to do this eye the like pinky orangey yellowy shades and then I think I'm going to do the other eye in like the blues the greens and the purples so I'm just putting that that is really pigmented right off the bat which doesn't surprise me because I love glam lights formula like they normally are very pigmented. I always do my eyeshadow first anyway, but if I didn't normally do my eyeshadow first anyway, I would definitely do it first using their shadows just because they are so pigmented. They tend to have some fallout. So I just went into the shade Peach, which is like an orange shade, and I'm just putting that in the inner portion. And I'm probably going to do a half cut crease, so it doesn't matter if I do it messy or not. And then I'm going to brush that off, and then I'm going to go into a combination of cranberry and red velvet, which are, actually, can I bend this back? Oh, yes, I can. Awesome. Okay, so I went into this one first, then this one. Now I'm mixing these two together to put on the outer V. And... Fun fact about me, I don't like cake at all. Like actual cake? No. Um, actually for my birthday, which just passed, as you guys know, I requested no cake. Um, and I know that's like an unpopular opinion, but I'm just not a cake person at all. I prefer ice cream, 100%. Even ice cream cake has too much cake involved for me. <laughs> So, um, I prefer just no cake whatsoever. So I actually requested, don't laugh at me. I requested, um, Klondike bars as my, um, dessert for my birthday. So I'm just using this other brush because the Kaleidos brushes are more like fluffy blending brushes and I want something that's going to pack it on. I went back into peach. Now I'm taking pineapple, which is the yellow matte shade. And I'm just going to go around the other shades just to incorporate some of that because for the lid shade, most likely I'm going to use carrot because it is a gorgeous like duochrome orangey yellow. And funny enough, as soon as I showed my hubby this palette, that's the that's the shade that he was like, oh, I love that shade. Like, you've got to use that one. So, and normally he doesn't have an opinion either way. So, I swear that one spot keeps bothering me. And I put stuff on it to, like, get rid of it. It's, like, the only spot that I have. I don't know what it is, but it's annoying. Okay. So now we're going to go to the other side really quick before we cut the crease and do the lid. So I'm going to do Icy Mint in the crease first. And 
then I'm going to go into key lime. So I'm going to do this. I love, what I love about this palette the most is that it has shades that you don't see very often in rainbow palettes. Like I love the purples that it has and I love like the lavender, the blueberry shade, like those are purpley lavender lilac -y tones that you generally don't see, especially not in shimmer formula. And I'm really excited about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the shade Key Lime, like I said, and I'm gonna take that in the front. And I might go back in with that other brush and kind of do it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Birthday Cake, which is this darker blue this one right here and I'm gonna put that on the outer V area and then I'm also gonna take I don't know what it's called purple frost which is I'm gonna take purple frost and lilac together and I'm gonna put that on the outer V as well and like I said when we do the three looks one palette I will do like a you know just one look on both eyes but for this I just wanted to do something two-toned because I think it's so pretty okay and then I'm gonna go back into that brush that I used for the yellow and I'm gonna take the key lime shade and I'm just gonna Kind of bring that over and then go back into the icy mint because I feel like I lost that shade and make sure we still have it. Okay, so now I'm going to go off camera, cut my crease really quick just to save on time, and I will be right back. Okay, so I cut the crease with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer, and then I took my NYX glitter glue, and I took this flat Kaleidos brush, and I just packed on the glitter glue with that. So I don't know if this brush is going to pick up these shimmers really well, but we're going to we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm going to take, oh my gosh, okay, I'm going to take Blue Bear, mm, no, I'm going to take Blue Raspberry first which is this beautiful blue metallic shimmer right here. I do wish that there was a green, like a second green shade, like a green shimmer or something like that, because I do think that that is kind of missing from this palette. Okay, I don't like that brush for the shimmers. So I'm going to take my normal Morphe flat shader brush and see if that works better. But... Yeah, that's the only complaint that I really have is that I wish that there was like a green, you know, type of shimmer in this palette because I think that that would be awesome because then that's what I would use for the inner corner on this eye. But since we don't have one, I'm going to go into the shade Lavender, which is this beautiful lighter purple shimmer. And I'm going to use that for the inner corner. I swear, for me, it's any excuse to do like a rainbow look. I love rainbow looks. And I love two-tone rainbow eye looks. Let me know if you've ever tried one of those. Ooh, those two look really pretty together. I love that. And I definitely want to do other looks with this palette, like I said, because... I want to test out all the colors and I'm probably in the three looks on palette I'll probably do like a more neutrally look as well okay so for the 
Let's see what guava looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a duochrome. Okay, yeah, so for this side, I'm going to do guava first. And then I'm going to go in with the shade carrot and see how that looks. This is kind of like a peachy. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm Blush in the sense that it's kind of like a peachy with a gold shift. And then we're going to go into Carrot, which is gorgeous. Carrot reminds me of one of the shades from the VR Neon palette from Kaleidos. And I think I might just stick that all over because I feel like guava might be a better inner corner highlight. Okay, that is so beautiful. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit of banana, which is the yellow shimmer shade. Very pigmented. And I'm just going to put that in the inner portion. Oh, yeah. That amped that up. Okay. So now I'm going to remove all this crazy fallout. Well, actually, there's not that much. <laughs> I'm going to do my base, and I'll be right back to finish up the eyes. Okay, so I've done my base except for my highlight. And then what I did was I took Puppy and I put it under in this waterline under this eye. And then I took Piggy Bank from ColourPop and I put it in this waterline under this eye. So now I'm going to take the Kaleidos pencil brush, which I've heard amazing things about. And I think under this eye I'm going to put the shade Peach, which is the uh, orange shade. Now I... The shade names, I mean, I don't consider this to be like a peach, you know what I mean? I consider it to be a straight up orange, but that's fine. That doesn't, they don't, they just don't go exactly with, you know. And then this one is called Ubi, Ube, and it's like a lilac purple, and I'm just going to put that under this eye. And I'm surprised, I have to say, with how little fallout there is with this palette considering how bright the colors are and how pigmented the shades are. And considering you guys know that I create fallout. So I'm going to take the Morphe Continuous Mist. This one is almost empty. And then I'm going to use Ray Rider. I normally don't use peachy toned highlighters, but this one looks really pretty. And... It is so cute. I love how they come in this little tin. And then they have this protective like piece that is actually stuck in there. So I just usually leave them in there. And then I'm just going to take kind of a flimsy. I don't know where my... I think I just washed my Kaleidos highlighter brush. But okay, so I'm just going to take this one. That is so pretty. This is a very like glow from within type of highlighter and it does not give you any kind of texture it just looks really really pretty I love that sorry there's a mirror behind you guys and it does have a peachy tone in person so I really like the way that that looks okay I'm gonna spray my face one more time I spray my face with setting spray throughout like the whole process because I feel like layering it like that really helps with um, not getting cakey and stuff like that. So for the inner corners, I think for the inner corners, I don't feel like this palette has like really good inner corner highlights. Um, so I think what I'm going to do... Uh, oh. It's right here. Let me, I'm going to take Solar Sailor from Kaleidos, which is this one, and I'm going to put this in the inner corner. Oh, I just got some like pink. I'm going to use this one in the inner corner here. And then on the other side, I'm going to use Skywalker which is this one, which has a very purpley blue shift. It reminds me of um, Save Me from Lele Posh, or it reminds me of one of the 
Extreme Frost from Jeffree Star. It's so pretty. And I think that's the perfect inner corner highlight. So I need to put on mascara and lips and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my mascara on and then I took the Wicked Liner from Urban Decay, the 24-7 liner. The shade is called Wicked. And then we're going to put on the Coconut Lippy from Glam Light. And, okay, <laughs> let's see. Okay, there we go. The first pass, I didn't get a whole lot of color payoff. Uh, okay. So I would say this is not my favorite gloss. It feels good. It's just not as glossy as some of the other lip glosses that I own. So if you don't like lip gloss or you don't like the fact that lip glosses are sticky or, you know, like if you want something that feels more like a balm, this one is for you. I won't, but although this is different from the other Glam Light formula of lip gloss that I tried, like the churro one, I think it was called, or Hor Horchata, one of those two, I don't remember. One of them was a gloss, one of them was a lip liquid lipstick. So I think that that formula was a little bit more glossy than this one, but the margarita lips definitely feel good on the lips. They're just not as like in your face glossy as like the Jeffree Star glosses. So, okay. So this palette, this is what it looks like now that I've used it. You can see the shimmers do have some dips in them, but I think this is amazing. I think Glam Light has an amazing matte formula and amazing shimmer formula. I will say I like this one much better than the paint palette. Um, I got the paint palette a while back and I did one look with it. And with the paint palette, I felt like the color constantly fell down onto my face and not just when I was putting it on but after it was already on like by now I would already have like blue under my eyes or whatever and I'm not getting that at all with this palette I think the form the formula is amazing I think the packaging is so freaking cute even though I don't like cake and I think the presentation like putting it in this little oven I think was just the best idea I think glam light as a whole um Giselle and you know the team like they're just amazing so I really like them as a brand and so far I've liked everything that I've gotten from them even the paint palette I like the pigmentation it's just that I think that the formula just kind of comes off the eyes but I haven't had that with any of their other palettes and I own their pizza their taco the cake the paint I feel like I own one more but I can't think of it right now so anyway I definitely recommend the cake palette it is so far first impressions Anya approved but I do want to do some more looks with it so let me know any color schemes that you can think of that you would like to see a look with and I will definitely be doing a three looks one palette so I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys in my next video oh and I loved the Kaleidos brushes so far I really love them and the highlighters as well so I will see you guys in my next video bye guys